let's review some of the major concepts and some of the characteristics of a table. Notice that we have an initial employee layout entity that has rows, which would be records, columns, which would be fields. Each individual intersection has an instance of that information. In this table, we have our unique identifier, which is employee number. Using employee number, we could pull up any of the information about a particular employee because the employee number is unique. Therefore, we can look at it as the employee number would be the determinant, and then any of the information we're pulling up about this employee would be the dependent. Notice, however, that we have, if we wanted to be able to pull it up by name, well, our name is combined as last name, initial, and first name. We cannot pull it up just by last name. The same goes for a phone number. We have the area code and the local phone number together. Any of these attributes that we want to be able to make it more, we can easily pull up by an individual part we'll need to separate out. Therefore, we can look at one to where we have the employee last name, first name, and the initial. Also under the phone number, we have it as area code and phone. So we now have a primary key that is unique that we can pull up any of the associated information, the dependents. Now notice also, instead of having an employee job description, we now have a job code. That code is a foreign key to the job table so that the code is stored in the employee and it can go to the associated job table and pull up any of the job information. So at present, since we have separated out employee last name and first name, we can now go in and tell it that, again, the determinant employee last name and first name, which is a composite key, has the dependent of job code. I have to have the attributes of last name and first name to be able to access that employee's job code. Now remember, if we look at the, tech, the terminology, we have a primary key, which is the determinant, and the job code, which is the dependent. The dependency also, we have the employee last name and first name, which is a composite key, the determinant, has the dependency of job code or any of the other attributes that we need to access for this particular employee. So at present time, we now have two dependencies. And remember, the determination of a database environment is called the functional dependence, meaning that you have one or multiple attributes that determine the information that comes up under its dependent. Now we've viewed a moment. Continue on to your next assessment.